Laurie, as the men's and shortly the women's season come to a close, what are your reflections from the last 12 months on the pitch? Yeah, I think overall that we set ourselves some, some clear targets uh, at the start of the season. And I think some of them we've, we've exceeded. Um, some of them we've probably fallen short, I think. Um, certainly by, as I say, by the standards we set for ourselves. Um, we speak quite, quite openly that we think we should be competing in the top four on a consistent basis across both women's and men's. Um, so we've fallen short in that regard. Um, and we can probably pinpoint some specific games where we know that where, where, where we probably left some left some points on the table or, or, or didn't see games out in the way that we should have done, which prevented some of our sort of nearest rivals um, acquiring points that obviously um, uh, put them in a, in a stronger position. So, so we can be sort of clear about that. Um, but we've had some big tentpole moments in the season where we've played extremely well, um, played to our identity, um, excited our fan base and, and, and probably engaged with new fans and then the two matches that we hosted over at Twickenham were, were, you know, absolutely probably the best ones we've done to date. So I think we can we can reflect really positively on, on many regards there. And then, of course, in Europe, um, you know, we set ourselves the target of competing further in Europe this year. We, we felt we'd come pretty close in the last couple of years. Um, uh, so to make our first semi-final was, was absolutely brilliant. Um, to have that many fans in in France, sort of twice in, in the space of sort of two three weeks, was a real positive reflection, I think, on where the club is at the moment in terms of our fan base and how we're engaging and the relationship that we've got with the supporters. Um, and we knocked over some pretty big teams this year. You know, we've beaten a couple of the big sort of what's regarded as two of the best teams in France and um, Ulster and a really strong Glasgow side here. So you know, we I think we can reflect really positively on on our European journey and and I genuinely hope and think now that we've sort of started to put the building blocks in place that, that we can compete um, consistently in, in Europe in the future and having experienced it now once, you know, going to that sort of depth in the competition, then we definitely want to sort of do it again and, and, and kick on from here. And how do you see the, the club progressing off the pitch? In that regard, we've had another really stellar year. Um, I think it's important to to probably contextualise as well, we've still got some big challenges ahead um, as a club. Um, each year presents, it feels like it presents different ones. Um, certain aspects of our cost base are going to inflate again next season. So we've got to be finding ways that we can cover that. Um, but we've had a, you know, we've beaten a number of records that we set for ourselves in terms of our season ticket membership take up. And again, we're looking really positive for next year and with regards to to our member take up for next year, we've sold um, well two games after immediately after the World Cup didn't quite sell out, um, so that is some context there. But they weren't far, but every other game has sold out. Um, so it's been another really stellar year in terms of that. Um, on our women's program, we're, we're seeing inflation in terms of attendances. We want more fans to come, obviously, to our women's games. So there's a real sort of focus on, on how we'll take that forward next season. Um, and obviously we hope that's going to be backed up by you know, uh, slightly improved performances on the pitch. But that's a group that's transitioning, so we can understand why we are where we are there. Um, we've had another really strong season in terms of our partner engagement. We're getting into our 10th year next year with DHL. We've had Conrad Energy join, join the Queen's family this year as our sleeve sponsor. And you know, so we're, we're extremely grateful of, of their continued and future investment with the club. And all of our partners, we've, we've had a great year. So, there's so many aspects of where the club sits now in terms of our goals and targets and vision that we're, we're extremely pleased with. Um, but we can't take our eye off the, off the ball and we know that we've got to continue to sort of focus and, and, and get some of the challenges that we've got coming ahead because you know, we're, going, we're, we're certainly moving much closer to financial sustainability than where we were sort of two, two three years ago. And we really won't be far from break even on this, on this year. But as I say, we know we've got continued challenges ahead and we're going to have to pull together in order to, to meet those. And what can you tell us about recruitment and retention plans across this summer? Yeah, it's, this is probably the one I know excites or ignites a lot of fan interest. Um, I think the first thing to say is, look, we're, we're pretty happy with where the group, uh, certainly in the men's side, we're, we're continuing to, to 
to get contracts concluded and recruitment concluded on the women's side, that's just, the timings of that are slightly different. On the men's side, we know we've got a really good group now. Um, and we know that history tells us that the more cohesive and the more time the group spends together, the more that we think that's going to manifest itself in, in better performances. Um, so, as I say, we, we're, we're pretty content with the group that we've got now. We've added, um, we've added a, a, a good player in TT replace Will, to replace Will, who's leaving us. Um, and we know that we've got some really good players that are coming through on, from the academy side that are going to be transitioning or have been transitioning over the last set of season. And I think we've got to back that transition process so that we know that these players are, are going to be with us and solid with us for the future. So I think, we're, I suppose what I'm trying to say, yeah, we've, we've, we've got a good, good group now. Um, if we think we can find anyone that can supplement it and can come in and um, positively add to it, then of course we'll, we'll look to do that. But if we don't, um, then I think the group that we've got now would be good enough to take us forward and would be good enough for us to meet the objectives that we set for ourselves. Um, away from physically playing, we, you know, we, we'll do a post-season review and we know some of the areas where we've got to, we've got to supplement the staff and the coaching group because we know we've got some, some continued challenges there. And we're in the process of doing that and hopefully we should sort of confirm what that looks like very soon in terms of what the, the coaching group's going to look like going forward for next season and beyond. Um, so we've still got some bits and pieces to tie up, but as I say, we'll only add if we think they can add value to the group and get us to where we want to go. And what can supporters look forward to um, for the season ahead? Well, I think it's going to be another, it's going to be another busy season. Um, I think competitively, as a reflection on Premiership at the moment, I think the Premiership's in a... In, in a really good space in terms of the product that it is, in terms of what fans can consume and what they watch. Um, we know attendances are going up across the league. We know viewing is going up across, you know, broadcast of the league. It's the most competitive league we've had in seasons. Um, you know, on the final weekend, whilst there wasn't jeopardy at the bottom of the league, there was jeopardy definitely at the top. We were part of that. We missed out on that. So we want to really focus our energies on, on getting into the playoffs again next year. And I think we'll do that. Um, and I think we'll continue to play a brand of rugby and a style of rugby that's, that we think is appropriate for this club. And we know that that excites fans. So I would expect to have another really sort of uh, exciting season ahead. The difference being next year, as I say, we want to finish in the, in the top four and, and, and be competing for silverware. And do you have any final message for our supporters? Yeah, I mean, th this year just feels like it's, it's gone up another level again, hasn't it? Because... As I said a second ago, we've had, we've had games through the season that have been sold out. We've had some massive magical moments here at the Stoop, some of our games, how we've sort of played here. We've had fantastic occasions over at Twickenham. Big summer kickoff nearly reached 60,000. Big game was nearly a sellout. The entertainment that we installed in those games meant that the way that we engaged our fan base this year um, just felt on a different level. So, and a huge amount of that comes down to the fans and, and how they interact with us, how they support us. The fans on the road this year, again, were, was a completely different level. So to take sort of a thousand to Bordeaux, two and a half thousand down to Toulouse in such a short space of time, um, you know, we never underestimate the commitment that that, that, that takes. Um, and we're extremely grateful for that. And we'll be extremely grateful for the fan support as we go into next year. And, and, and as we know, you know, that relationship between club and supporters, when it operates at its absolute peak, then the ability and the chance for us to achieve success on the field goes up significantly. And, and, and we've had that for the last few seasons, and I've got no doubt we're going to have it again next year. And we're just incredibly grateful for, for all of the fan support, for everything in the, that we do in the club. Um, they're extremely trusting and um, put their faith in us, and we've delivered, and I hope we'll continue to deliver, and I know we'll continue to deliver. And as I say, we thank them for everything they give to us.